Hello, Robert. How you doing, Bob? I guess you could hear me and see me and make fun of me. Sorry about yesterday. I was having some issues here. Uh, the server went down. And they had to retweak the whole thing. What is this? Oh. Uh, oh. Where am I? <sighs> okay, let's see what we got going on. All right, who else is here? Me, you, and somebody else. Okay. All right. Um, what I've been working on today for myself, I just want to make you aware of what's coming. You know, these clips... I am so messed. I'm not, I never could be a movie star. I can never do a host. I can never be a host on a talk show with these goofy things. They fall all over the place. That should be better. All right. We well, wanted to remember yesterday we worked on some of the triplet vamps and the sixteenth note vamps with the accents. Remember that, Bob. Things look better. Yeah, well, something went wrong. I'm getting another upgrade tonight. I'm not going to do anything with it until after Sunday. I don't want anything to happen to the shit. And by the way, we're going to be on here tonight at 7 p.m. Okay, now, you know, I, I came on a computer to check something out last night. I forgot exactly what time. I was not even on a computer for three minutes, and I shut it off. And Jim, you sent me an email. Somebody saw me. Who seen me? Was it you? Was it Bob? It was. You know, I had to fix something. See if it was working. All right. So anyway, J uh, Jimmy, we're talking about the triplet vamp. Three ways. I just want the, the right hand and, or the left hand. Let's start with the right hand. The accent, there's no accent. Nice and relaxed. One. Then we're going to put the accent on the downbeat. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Then we're going to go to the other. Three. Now. One. A two. A three. A four. A one. A two. A three. And a four. Back. So I do that in a th uh, two, four, six measure increment, okay? I go through it one time without the accent, uh, two times without the accent, two times with the accent on a, on a down beat, and then two more times with the accent on the up beat, on the da. Now, my left hand is still not, it's, I, I can play it, but uh, my left hand is still down, but it's getting better. So here's what I recommend. Just to do something really simple so you get the feel of this. Because you're going to be using this somewhere uh, inside of a song or if you're playing jazz standards or you're playing some funk or whatever. I mean, I used to get my left hand like this. Ah, I can't even do it now. You see that left hand move like that? So what I recommend you do is sit there for about five minutes, not now, when you practice. And just do two measures of the triplet with no accent. 
okay? Then, after this, this, you did two measures, without stopping, go into uh, the accent on the uh, first beat of the triplet, and then two measures for that, and then two measures on the duh of the triplet, and back, over and over again. So, with the left hand, you do it slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, back. Do you understand that? Robert, Jim? You believe I sold three books today? It's not even, it's only one o'clock. Okay, let's take something really simple. Here's what I've been doing. We're going to go to the very beginning of the syncopation book. Then we're going to go back into the workbook too. But first let's go into the syncopation book. And we're going to do something really simple. What we're going to do is hit page... All right, we'll hit this one. Page 10. Okay? Now, here's what I progressed. Uh, I did 10. This is for, for the stick control book formulas or whatever I'm going to name it. I don't know yet. But this is going to be good for you guys. All right? Um, you know, you open the stick, the syncopation book, and you see one and two, three, four. No explanation. Okay? All right. So now, I say swing it. You go, huh? How do you swing it? So here's what I did. I put one measure the way it's written. One and two and three and four and, okay? Then I broke it down how to swing it. One and the two and the three and the four and the. Then the triplet fill. So you can see how they're all associated together. All right, now here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to play line one with the right hand over and over again. One and the two, swung. Three, four. One and the two, three. And now play the triplet. No accent. Three, hit no accent. One. Next one. Three, four, one and the two, and that's where we're going with the action. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, you got it? So we're going one and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and four and the Do you understand that exercise? Let me warm up a little bit. Oh, my left hand feels like it's going to get... Okay. Remember this exercise the other day? One, two, three, four. One, two... Understand that exercise. Remember that? One and the two and the three and the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now the accent. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and the two and the three and that accent. One and the. Gonna move them all three around. Who's this? Hold on, what is this? Even when you're explaining the lesson, you're not stiff on on any way or mechanical. Yeah, I am. I'm stiff. Remember that uh video you sent me last night, Jim? I got it last night, then I got it this morning. 
and I can't say what I said in my chat or, or in the email, but I meant that. This guy's a real dork. I mean, you know, I get, try to get along with everybody and especially learn from everybody. And, you know, this molar nonsense has got to go, man. You know, this is not molar. That's the level system. That is uh, the laws of physics. You know, Joe Morello put out an instructional video. It was uh, the A-track, or I guess uh, you put it in the big, the big A-track, and he was demonstrating this. That's how they play molar. He says, you do that long enough, you're going to levitate. Okay? That, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. You don't have time to do this. And that doesn't make you loose. The, if you rebound on the stick, the stick is an extension of your hand. You're actually playing the drums with your hand. Now, there's no more. I want to get power, I got to pump the arm. That's not a whip. This stuff here, uh, your, your mother's wash machine and your, and your father-in-law's underwear is, a, is a, a, a hybrid rudiment. I don't know where the hell they come up with all this shit. But man, it's ridiculous. You know? And the guy plays in some symphony orchestra in the middle of nowhere, the woods and the mountains. So he's a... He's a percussionist in the symphony orchestra. He knows shit about it. And he pisses me off because he gave me an argument one time and I, you know, he don't want to talk to me. So I drew him out. I'm going to throw him out of the groups. Okay, you're going to do that exercise, Bob. Is that the one you're talking about? Am I losing my left hand? Jesus Christ. All right, anyway. That's what you want to be working on. The three measures. No, no accent. Three, four. One, two, three. Two measures. Now the accent. One, two, three. Okay, now what's going to help you out with this one, if you do it four measures, two measures without the accent, one, an accent, now the reason why I'm doing the triple is because there's a, a couple exercises in the workbook which under accent development. All right, let, let me give you the, the one we're going to do here with the triple. So it's all related. Oh, come on back. This old being old sucks. I believe it's going to be. Come on. Hold on a second. That's the eighth note. It's coming. Yep. Go to uh, stick control formula number thirty nine. Let me know when you're there, gentlemen. And maybe tonight we're going to do some funk. Number 39, gentlemen. All right, this is all with the eighth note triple. 
Now, I wrote this out right-handed, so, you, you know, what happened to this? Oh, come on. I wrote this out right-handed. All right, so get, get the uh, book out. We're on uh, stick control formula number 39. I'm just going to play it to the right. My left hand is not there. All right, line one. The action's on. You got it, Jim. All right. Robert, get it. Okay. Line number one. You see the action on the one, two, three, four. We already did that. Now, you want to play this until you feel good. You don't have to. You, if you want to keep a four measure increment, that's okay. And go directly to the next one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that maybe for the whole six lines. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, line two. Here we go. One. See that, gentlemen? You got 39, Jim? What about you, Robert? Let me try this one measure at a time. Two measures. Robert, you got it? So you want to hang out with that page, and I'm going to hear him tonight. Dual. Right-handed and left-handed. I want to get into some ostinato patterns. I'm not talking to cymbal ostinato. Not that. We're going to talk about um, bass drum and snare drum. I'm bass drum and hi-hat. Last night, I tried uh, the other day, I tried to hit on a 6-8 ostinato or a 3-4 ostinato. What turned me on to this one was Terry Bozio put out years ago, maybe 20, 30 years ago, I don't know exactly when, but he put out an ostinato pattern. A D, uh, he, he put out a, uh, one of those big guys, you know, the A-track, all right. And uh, he was playing his 6-8. And he was doing something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Constantly. Okay? I've worked on that for a while, but that, that gave me uh, strength to do the Max Roach. Did drums also waltz or Bill Buford? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're going to hit on those two right now. So let's do it slow, and let, let's, let's establish something musical, or if you want to do an exercise first, then we'll try to play it musical. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bass drum. One, I gotta loosen up. Let me see it right. Oh. I got this going on. A one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six.
washing clean. Anyway, just having a little fun. Oh, man. Wires. All right. Here's what you want to do with this. Okay? <clears throat> Let's say you're playing one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the ostinato. Now play each note. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, four. And you're going to play it. 16th notes. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 1. 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. Looks like a table of time. Then triplets. Thirty seconds. It's not easy talking and playing this shit. Huh. Do you understand what I just did, guys? I like to hit it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. That's a motif. Did you hear what I just did? I'm playing one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one. Three, four, five, six. One and two and three and four and five and six and one. Three, four, five triplets. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, three, four. Six. 30 seconds. That's eight notes. Four, five, six. That's one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the five E and the six E and the one, two. You follow me so far, guys? It's a nice thing to play, man. It's like doing this warm-up exercise. So you got one. I just like to flip out. going. Do we understand it? You like it? I can write out a little bit. All right, anyway, you're going to work on the triplets. The accents on the one, no accents first. Let me put the snares back on. How do you like the way the snare sounds? I got this out of the garbage. Driving, going to get a pack of cigarettes, and there's this snare drum, all beaten up. Just waiting to be picked up by the garbage man. I just said, oh, brakes hit. Got out of the car. I didn't even look at it. Just put it in the car. Bought my cigarettes, came home, and redid the whole thing. This was wrapped was silver sparkle, okay? I took the silver sparkle off. I sanded it way, way down, nice and easy. Then I put a couple different coats of paint on it, and then I lacquered it, put the hardware back on, new heads, and here we go. I'll bet you this snare is about four or $500. And it's an old Slingerland. Well, if you want to, you're supposed to be doing the same thing I'm doing. 
but you don't have to do it when I'm teaching you. Listen, watch. When you go, see, a lot of guys get the wrong, wrong thing. I mean, most of the guys do that. They, they uh, listen to me talk. They watch me play, and they're trying to do the same thing that I'm doing. Well, no, that's not what you want to do. Listen to what I'm saying and how I'm entering this. I'm playing that ostinato pattern as slow as I possibly can. One, four, one. And I can just hang out with that. Play any note I want. One, two, three, four, five, six. One and two, three, four and five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One and two and three and four and five and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One and two and three. Six. One, two, three. Slow. Just relax. Get into a meditative state. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Tonight we're going to work on that. We're going to work on the triplets. And like I was trying to say, I get I get uh, overwhelmed and distracted. You know, when you first get the syncopation book, you look at the figure, and it's read one and two, three, four. So I say swing you. Then I explain how to swing it, and I wrote that out. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, the next movement would be to play the triplet fill-ins. One and uh, uh, three and uh, four and uh, written in black and white. Then the next one was to play that against the jazz time. Bass drum is the right. Uh, all left with the left, snare drum. Here you go. And it'd be all written out. And then you could do it as the vamp. All the variables on about 10 different pages. How to play it against the jazz time, written out. Bass drum, one, two, three, four, one, two. This is syncopation. Now that's mechanical. Second line, I believe. And then we're going to try to take, I don't want to keep hitting on the same melodies like Take the A-Train, Satin Doll, uh, Milestones. And I want to take something a little bit more modern and apply it musically to our exercises so you can understand what we're doing. Randy. Pierre, how you do? <laughs> okay, you're late, it's no problem. I just been working. My left hand is acting up again. I can't move it right right now, but I explained to the gentleman here about the vamping patterns, the triplets, accenting the first note of the triplet, then the third note of the triplet, and then no notes of the triplet. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Oh, one, two, nice and easy. One, two, three, four. That's the first one. The second one. The accents are on the one, two, three, four. And the next one, the accents on the da. So what I like to do, and I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because of my left hand, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do two measures without the accent, two measures with the accent on the one, two, three, four, and two measures with the accent on the da, and then switch hands. Let me start with the left. That's what happens right there. It stiffens right up on me. 
and I lose control of the stick. I don't know why. But that's what you want to do. Now, we can get a little crazier to give you some physical exercises. Would you like that, Robert? Oh, okay. Remember, uh, Sunday we're on this channel. Don't be late. It's going to be a very interesting kind of broadcast. I got my package from Peisty. I thought I was going to get a 20-inch ride, but they didn't send that to me. They sent me some flyers and some stickers and some buttons and some uh, neck ties or whatever you call it. And we're going to give them away. All right? I'm going to give, for example, let's say, Randy, you win um, one of uh, Jeffrey Johnson's books. So you're going to get his book plus all the other paraphernalia from uh, Peisty. Or if you win um, Alan Herman's book, I mean, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever we're going to give away. If you win that, you're going to get an additional pair of sticks or something. So it'll be a nice, sweet little package, okay? It's going to cost me a fortune for shipping, but that's okay. That's not a problem. That's called networking and tax, deductible, tax deductibles. Right, Jim? You're in business. All right? So you're going to do triplets. All right? Accenting the one, two, three, four. Then, well, first I'll be doing without the accent. I'm getting all screwy today. One, two, three, four, one. Now to the accent on one, two, three, four. One, two, three, two measures. Two, two, three, and three. So on and so forth. Now in addition to that, on YouTube, right here, that's where you are. Yes, live on, on YouTube. Okay, Pierre, well, I guess it's going to be live then. Of course it's going to be live. You, you don't know, Pierre, about the lesson? Did you get the, uh, you're on this link. Pierre, did you email, do you understand English correctly? Pierre? Pierre. I'm going to put my, mail, my email in there, okay? Now, for your benefit, please email me. Where do we go with this? No. I want out of that. I think this is it. Nope. All right, that's okay. All these pop-ups. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. Okay, did you, hey Jim, how did you like that video last night that you sent me? How did you, what was your opinion on that? You're talking to a college professor who drinks a glass of wine and falls down on his ass. <laughs> I love those kind of guys. You got to get down and dirty when you're playing, right, Randy? Now, in addition to that, that exercise I gave, Randy, two measures without an accent, two measures with the accent on the downbeat, Two measures with the accent on the da and back. You start with the right hand first, do the, the six measures, go to the left hand. Same procedure. Over and over again. Do it slow. Now, what stick control, what was that pattern? Uh, what was that, 28 or 38, guys? What Which one did we just work on? Was that 18? Oh. Let me see, hold on. Uh, come on. Which lesson was that? 39, okay. That's what we're, Randy, 
This is associated with this. You know, like you're playing the two measures without the accent, two measures with the accent on one, two, three, four, and two measures with the accent on the da. Do that for a while, right, right-handed, then left-handed, right-handed and left-handed at a variable, a, a variation of a lot of tempos. Then go into the workbook, or the formula book, rather, I'm sorry, and that was 38, I believe. And you're taking the triplet now. You want to try to challenge yourself and at least do the whole page without stopping. But notice, my bass drum is going to be one, two, three, four. My hi-hat is going to be two and four. And I'm going to do, do it with the actions now. This is, who was that? At 38? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Goes up to line five. You get that, Randy? Bob? Pierre? I'm also going to be doing some PDFs I'm going to give out. And uh, I might, de it depends how many people come. I might give out a book. Well, I'm going to definitely give out uh, two of. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Johnson's books, The Level System, and two from uh, Stephen, and I don't know, it depends. It's a good exercise, Randy. And, you know, once you finish that, you know, the, the, the hand technique for that, for single strokes, if I do this, is, that's half of this. See that, Randy? Yeah, it is. It's a workout. And like I said, I'm going to try to do a couple other tunes. I'm calling up uh, this afternoon. I don't know if you know who the company is. They're called Wirecast. Now, Wirecast is what? It's, it's a, a program that you buy. And you need that to stream. You don't need that exact thing I could use. Uh, some other thing or whatever. But I'm going to be upgrading my Wirecast, maybe. And I'm going to be trying to be able to do play-alongs so I can play some music for you guys. I'm going to try. This is a lot of work, man, for one man. Believe me. So, Jim, why don't you move to New Jersey? Robert, I got a couple bedrooms in the house you could use. Man. So I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but if, I, if it works for me, I'm going to do it, and it's going to give you a better lesson. Because I can't be just giving you exercises and exercises and exercises. You know, I could, and, and I'm trying to make them as musical as possible and trying to apply them to the music. Pierre, you should get yourself the PDFs. Who else is in here? For the lessons. The PDFs. There's 180 pages, okay, uh, and 45 different formulas. I, if you're, were you in France, Pierre? Where'd he go? Did he leave? <laughs> well, how, where do you live at, Robert? What, what state? Because, uh, Jimmy, you're coming down here next month sometime for a weekend. You're going to come fri Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for uh, I, which I call as a mini, mini camp. Pierre, where are you from, sir? Ugh. I don't have to work so hard on this one to get a, a, uh, a closer off. Oh, uh, boom. 
I gotta do some serious practicing. All right. Now we're gonna go at seven o'clock here. Okay, no place else but here. I have to do some more tweaking on that site. Wisconsin. I was. How far are you from East Troy? I was there in Wisconsin. It is cold. And man, when they say a snowstorm, you open up your door, you can't see nothing but a snow. Huh. What they consider a snowstorm in New Jersey is just a dusting in Wisconsin. And that's what, the Badger State? Hop in a plane, man. Come on down. You and, and uh... Okay, good. Not a problem. You're welcome to do that. What I've been doing now... All right, never mind. No, that's okay. All right. Um, email me. I'll talk to you a little bit, Pierre. Where are you from, Pierre? Are you from France? Well, don't tell me you're from the French side of New Jersey, either. <laughs> Okay, 40 miles from East Troy. All right, that's not bad. You're a lot closer to me there, Robert. <laughs> okay. Any questions until tonight? If you have any questions, email me. All right, gentlemen. I have to go to the post office and throw some books in the mail. Oh. Where do we go? Okay, see you.